Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Listen, we have a video here that I'm sure is going to be like, what in the world? And you're, you're probably going to wonder why she would make that mistake. But I wanted, instead of judging her, instead of being critical, I wanted to actually um, do some critical thinking and see, give her the benefit of the doubt. What else she, could she have been talking about? So give me some help here, folks. What, what was she talking about in this statement? It's only going to be about a minute and a half, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you be the judge. And uh, we're going to play it right now, okay? Here we go. Fight. But what I, I realized is we are the first species on the face of this earth to be aware of evolution, to be aware that we are affecting our own evolution by everything that we do. The babies we eat, the food we eat, the car, wars we fight. We are the first species to begin to understand not only are we aware of evolution, of evolution but we are evolution. Barbara Marks Hubbard. Now, um, people want to run away with this statement that she made. Keep in mind, she is an older lady. Keep in mind also uh, that, you know, perhaps the the brain and the sentence structure is not as strong as it could have been perhaps there needs to be some a little bit more training especially at that age and so we give her a little bit of grace there but usually when somebody makes uh, a faux pas like that i'm sure i'm sure you have right i'm sure i have misspoke at times usually the word uh, was supposed to be in another sentence later Right. But as you can see through the video, she wasn't talking about babies at all. It's almost like she was mentioning something that she just did. And there was another fella uh, as well who, who said in a comment just offhand. Uh, let's go ahead and roll that clip as well. What do you think Dick Cheney eats for lunch, other than, you know, maybe small children? So I just, I just wanted to put that in there um, to give you some context of what we are seeing uh, in our day and age. The conspiracy theorists of the past really aren't looking all that theorists <laughs> anymore, right? What about... If the conspiracy theorists on some of what they said were actually conspiracy realities. And I don't know the percentage, folks. I'm just asking questions here. I need some feedback because I'm, I'm putting these puzzle pieces together and it's not like I want to. Uh, it's being forced upon me. And um, have you seen that Saturday Night Live episode that The Rock did? Oh, man. Let, let me go ahead and show you that one as well. Here it is, the Saturday Night Live skit. A child molesting robot. It's a robot that is designed to molest children. Uh, and it can theoretically uh, molest twice as many children as a human molester and quite frankly half the time. What you do is you start by building a regular robot, uh, then you molest it and hope that it continues uh, the cycle. Now you do know that's how it starts, right? The molestation cases. A child was molested, then they grow up to be molesters and on and on and on, unless you break that generational curse. And so we're just scratching the surface here. Okay, This is just the tip. And of course, if you want to know more about all of that, uh, which I'm sure you don't, you there are sources that you can go to. But I brought all that out to give this lady the benefit of the doubt, but it's not helping her case when we see all of these elites, these superstars engaged in this activity. And so I need some, some answers. I mean, give me your comments because they are very valued. What perspective am I not seeing? Because I don't want to jump to a conclusion. Listen, I have a thing. The only conclusion I'm going to jump to is Revelation 22 and 21. Okay. So give me your thoughts on what you've seen because you're not hearing an opinion from me. You've heard it from these elites mouths. And yes, it was done in a skit. 
But why in the world was that placed in a skit? And I'm not even saying that The Rock wanted to do, to do it. Matter of fact, he felt he looked uncomfortable saying it. Okay, so just wanted to bring that out and hopefully awaken you. Uh, have you question what's going on in the government? What's going on in our media? What is going on and what can I do to help improve society? God bless you and we'll see you soon.